That's right, you already see the title. Golden State Warriors, you're done. You are done, at least for this video. I'm the hero we all needed to make the NBA more competitive. Today, we are trading away each of the superstars from the Golden State Warriors and rebuilding them. And it's really as easy as it sounds. Look at this. <laughs> I kind of forget sometimes. The Warriors have five superstars. These are five superstars. Boy, look, when Cousins gets back, I don't even know what to say, man. But we're going to trade each of them away here. We'll do it in a second. And then we're going to rebuild. It's pretty much as simple as that. The title indicates it. This should be a lot of fun. And the one rule, I guess, after you see me make the trades here, we are not going to be able to re-sign any of these players. So when I trade them away, they still might get to free agency. Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson always do year one. If they happen to come back, I can't sign any of them. We're going with completely new players, rebuilding them. Going to try and do it in three seasons, just like last time with the Knicks. Yeah, this should be fun. Let's just, <laughs> let's all admire the Golden State Warriors dynasty coming to a close here. <laughs> Nobody wants Kevin Durant. I'm sure it has nothing to do with his expiring contract and everything to do with the fact that he's a snake. That is funny. Good job, 2K. First up is Kevin Durant. He's going to make his way to Atlanta. We're bringing back a former warrior, Kent Bazemore. He makes a whole lot of money. He's even got a player option, which sucks, but welcome to the club. Oh, they accepted. Nice to see. Hey, Phoenix, you want a point guard? Well, here's one you might like, Steph Curry. I don't know. You might have heard of him. We'll take Ryan Anderson back. I love that dude, Anderson. Stretch four. I think the Cavs need some help. Here's DeMarcus Cousins. We'll take back my boy Corver. I kind of look like him. At least I've been told. Clay Thompson, Miami Heat, Tyler Johnson coming on back. And how about Draymond Green for Evan Fournier? Seems like a fair deal. There we go, boys. This is the new Golden State Warriors roster in all its glory. Look, <laughs> not even a single 80 overall. Well, that's the video, boys. Golden State Warriors now suck. That's all we needed to see. But in reality, it will make the simulation interesting now. And this is where we can start. So Ryan Anderson, his contract's up at the end of this year. Tyler Johnson and Ken. Kent Bazemore are both, eh, both their contracts are up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to simulate the first 60 games, or I should say 60 days, because then I can trade all these players I just traded for. Completely unrealistic, but it is what it is. So we'll start the official rebuild, the official retool, uh, about halfway through the season. Give me one sec. All right, and the retool is starting to go pretty well. We are, what is that, 8 and 26? That is how you tank, boys. That is definitely how you tank. And now let's take a look at what we got. So Evan Fournier, he's an okay player. Uh, Quinn Cook, I think, is someone we can build around. Let's check the table. Okay, so I want to get rid of Tyler Johnson and Kent Bazemore. Both of them, that's way too much money. Evan Fournier, maybe he can stick around, be our one big contract. Track. Iguodala, dang, he gets paid a lot. He's got to go. So let's get started here with uh, Iguodala and Kent Bazemore. Why not? A shooting guard and a small forward. Actually, I shouldn't trade them together. That doesn't really make sense. Oh, the Pelicans want to give me a first round pick. The Pelicans aren't great, but it's a first round pick. That is pretty clutch. We can even trade that this year to try and get it something happening there. Solomon Hill is not a great, uh, he's not a great contract to take back, but it is what it is. The 76ers want Andre Iguodala. I'm actually going to do this because the Sixers always have so much cap space this will screw him over a bit like i know that sounds salty but that's the move we're making uh who's up next the hawks are trying to give me a lottery protected first rounder two years from now plus another bad contract but i'm gonna take this i'm gonna keep stacking up all the first round picks i have because we can flip them for something better probably plumley in a second for zubac to get that contract off that we i think we just picked plumley up good enough solomon hill in a second get rid of that contract right here man we are wheeling and dealing getting these uh getting these salaries open i think we should be good now now for next year under contract we got a ton of team options ignore those we got evan fournier uh damian jones yeah that's it okay i can live with fournier next year he's a uh, fournier french i should be able to speak it i'm canadian he's a pretty good little player we also have a ton of picks now look at all these first rounders which is cool some of them are lottery protected uh the pelicans first won't be that great but i think we're gonna wait to the draft to move them we'll see what we get in the draft where we sit or in the off season i can trade i'm not gonna worry about it now i'm gonna have a nice 12 man rotation for this season i know people were giving me suggestions uh how to make a better team but right now i don't care if my team's good the only player i really care about is quinn cook and actually where's jordan bell yeah jordan bell's got to be in the starting lineup too those two are the two young building blocks somewhat i have so we will run them a ton and we will simulate to the end of the season and see where we're at this is gonna be <laughs> this record's gonna be so bad wait for this boys 
Kawhi Leonard killed it. 29 points a game. Uh, Trey Young, 20 points a game. Wow. Uh, Draymond winning defensive in Orlando. There you go, Magic fans. There is something. The Raptors, the best team. Steph was on the first team All-NBA. Where's Kevin Durant? No, Kevin Durant? Are you kidding me? Okay. All-NBA third team KD. Where? Uh, how do you do here? Only 25 points a game. Okay, interesting. There's Draymond. No Klay Thompson everywhere. I wish I remember what teams I traded people to. I know Steph is with the Suns. Uh, KD, he went to the Hawks. Did the Hawks make the play? They did not make the playoffs. Draymond went to Orlando. They also didn't. Cleveland got in with DeMarcus Cousins. And where did Klay Thompson go? I don't really remember. But hey, some fresh simulation. It'll probably still end up with the Raptors winning the championship. Uh, that would be what I'd expect against the Thunder. By the way, we finished 24 and 58, which should be in a pretty good lottery position. And an upset. Oh my goodness. The Wizards, I must have traded. Did I trade Klay Thompson to the Wizards? Uh, the OKC Thunder win the championship. Hold on. Uh, who won? Who was on the team? The <laughs> Dwight Howard led the Wizards. No, I didn't trade anybody there. They got Hassan Whiteside somehow. What a weird simulation. Okay, the uh, Thunder win though. Who was it? I missed it. Did Paul George win? I think Paul George won the finals MVP. We are simulating right up to the draft lottery. This is interesting. So we have the best chance at the lottery. We won 24 games. That's kind of crazy. Please bless me. And they do with the first overall pick. Come on, Zion. We got nothing on this team. So you better believe I'm taking Zion Williamson. But the question is, can we trade up to like number two because let's face it uh i would love to have me an rj barrett so we're not even going to think about it zion last time i did a rebuild with the knicks my first one cam reddish which kind of sucked he was okay though but let's see if we trade next year's 2020 uh wait hold on hold on hold on the knicks have the second pick let's see if we can trade them a bunch of firsts uh we'll make them all unprotected and we will see what <laughs> we'll see if this works so a couple what about two first round picks will that work no um zion okay yeah as if you're getting zion buddy that was the best i could do we can't get that pick we'll hold on to them and we will trade them for we'll trade them for somebody as this year goes on because well maybe they could help us next year i'm thinking out loud here we'll keep on for now we got our boy zion rj barrett fell to three maybe i should have tried to trade for the third overall pick uh oh well it is what it is deuces as they say of course we're signing zion we're gonna decline both these veterans yeah we don't need either of them back uh kevin durant declined his player option with atlanta what about clay thompson doesn't he usually have a player option they might have gotten extended that's the other thing i noticed like Clay Thompson, wherever I traded him, Orlando or whatever it was, they might have extended him in the season. So we might never hear from them again. And here we go to the moratorium stage. So Kevin Durant looks like he'll make free agency. Clay Thompson as well. There you go. Uh, what about Dray Draymond and Steph still under contract and Cousins? So all three of them did not get extended by their team, but they might still remain there. We can't touch any of them. We know this. Last video on my next rebuild, I called Chris Middleton and Kevin Knox. I mixed up their names. I said Kevin Middleton and Chris Knox. 9,000 comments on that video were about that. I read them all. Thank you for pointing out my mistakes. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what any of these things mean. These trade exceptions. What does this mean? I can renounce the rights, which gets me more like, what is this? I don't know what this means. Gosh, darn it. Oh no. Oh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All the free agents decided to sign somewhere else. No, looks like we're gonna have to get my boy Chris Middleton back. He's our next best option. Okay, that really sucks. We really just got snaked on like all the good free agents. Yikes, that is trouble. Uh, Willie Cauley Stein. I did like him last in the in the last rebuild. What about uh, D'Angelo Russell? Interesting. He's a restricted free agent. Does that mean we'll have to give up compensation for him? I guess we'll find out here. Okay, so Jonas Valanciunas was the big fish we pulled in day one of free agency. We have no point guards. I still need to re-sign Quinn Cook. We got Zion. We got nothing here, dude. Uh, Kevin Rant made it all the way to free agency. That's kind of interesting. Thaddeus Young would be a good veteran behind uh, behind Zion Williamson. Could teach him the ropes. You know how it goes. All right, free agency did not go the way I was hoping. Couldn't get Terry Rozier either. Boston match. So we got Quinn Cook, Ish Smith. At least we got a veteran in there. Fournier, Jacob Evans. I don't love that. Mario Hazonia, our only small forward. What in the world? Zion, Jordan Bell, Thaddeus. Okay, so we got some studs at small forward and a pretty good center core. I'm not really sure why but when Thaddeus Young becomes a small 40, he becomes 81 overall. Wouldn't be the best fit. I know that, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. We need people to play positions here. So Quinn Cook, I like him in the starting lineup. Fournier, Thaddeus Young, given all the minutes to Zion, Jonas Valanciunas, Jordan Bell off the bench. We got not a bad bench. Too many 
big men here. We're going to go ahead and swap this Damian Jones. I have better younger centers uh, and a future second rounder for the boy OG and Unobi, who's not really the greatest shooter, but we need another wing player. So there we go. Let's check the rotation one more time. I'm running a 10 man rotation. Cook, Fournier, Young, Williamson, Valanchunas, Jordan Bell, OG Ananobi, Zubach, three pretty good options. Plus his Zonia, he could develop. We are definitely still, uh, whatchamacallit, a rebuilding team, but we're going to simulate through this year. What do we have? Like two first round picks next year? Lose the first game or win the first game of the year? That's a good sign. So no idea what's going to happen, boys, but we'll find out together in three... Kawhi Leonard back-to-back -back MVPs. This boy going wild. Canadian RJ Barrett. Wait, where's Zion? My man, he didn't win it. Most improved player for the second time in his career. Zion Williamson, uh, Golden State Warriors, All-NBA first team. RJ Barrett's numbers were insane. Yeah, look at Zion, 17, 18, and five. Boys, we made the playoffs. We are the fifth seed. And can someone explain this to me? Look at my roster, dude. Like, yeah, it's okay. I literally had five players better than this in overall in my Knicks rebuild. And we we did not win anything. We barely made the playoffs and we missed the playoffs. I just don't understand it, bruh. So my starters, Quinn Cook, Fournier, Thaddeus Young, Zion, and Jonas getting big minutes. And off the bench, Jordan Bell, Ananobi, Hazonia, Zubac. Those are pretty good. This like, it's a good team on paper. See if GMJ Canada, we win game one, can actually have some playoff success here. We take game two and OKC takes one. All right, OKC won the title last year, right? With uh, Russell and Paul George. Okay, this <clears throat> is not looking good. Please, no. Oh, oh gosh. See, I didn't think we'd make the playoffs, so whatever. Let's see if we can force a game seven right here, and we do indeed. If we go to game seven in uh, round one, I do not think we're going very far in the playoffs. In fact, whoa, we are getting smashed. We are <laughs> Simcast, not, not your boy's friend. All right, we got eliminated. That is okay, though. Year three is when we're going to make our hand, man. Like, that was not expected to make the playoffs. And the Houston Rockets over the Boston Celtics, your NBA champion. Shout out to James Harden did not choke in the playoffs which is always good to see he's got a history of that we just signed Dirk Nowitzki as an assistant coach thought I'd throw this in there <laughs> that's kind of funny let's see what we can do for trades bro I'm looking through the trades look who went to LA to join LeBron Kevin Durant they have no depth but KD and LeBron man that's deadly I'm gonna make this trade right here it's a little cheesy because I won't be using that first round pick but it is what it is Jonas Valanciunas getting a younger upgrade hopefully Mo Bamba gets a nice boost before next season that would definitely help now we still have uh we still have our two pick i need to trade these two picks for something man i couldn't find any good trades for those two picks so i'm not gonna waste them like i'm gonna use them maybe get something helpful but i need them to help this year uh 67 over or 76 overall small forward anton watson i like your hair son sure we do not have very much cap room here but ben simmons okay he's an rfa i don't think the sixers signed anybody big so they should be able to match but uh, i guess we should try hassan whiteside Draymond Green. There he is. Nice. Jalen Brown. Okay. Let me see who we can conjure up, who we can sign here real quick. Hopefully a nice big name free agent lured in. I'm going to go ahead and deal Evan Fournier because I want to try and get Ben Simmons, but we need that cap, uh, cap space. So kind of risky move because if Ben Simmons does not sign, uh, we could be in trouble here, but let's take a look if we can at least offer him a deal now. And we can indeed. I'm going to, why is it not juiced all the way up? Yeah, I'll give him as much as he can. He is an RFA, so the 76ers can still technically re-sign him as well, but it is is what it is we'll give it a shot trying to make a few trades go through here because uh no luck in free agency gary harris 84 overall shooting guard for bell and hazonia a few more stars in my favor actually wow they don't want to do that but uh first round pick should convince them there we go oh baby sacramento they want to give me De'Aaron fox now i have a few point guards here but dude we're making things happen i need to win a championship gmj canada needs to get on the map giving up a first round pick and a bunch of other stuff do we have to give up Ananobi? Yeah, we do. Hold on. Let's just accept it. De'Aaron Fox. All right. Give me two seconds and I'll show you my new roster for year three. The one we need to make it happen. A few moments later. And here we go, boys. Here's the roster. So in the off season, all the good free agents were restricted. We couldn't sign anybody, but I showed you the trades there. We now have De'Aaron Fox, Quinn Cook, and a few other guys at point guard. Gary Harris, who's a good pickup. Terry Rozier, I signed in free agency, made him a shooting guard coming off the bench. Zion, I made him a small forward. He's much better overall as a small forward, which is weird. Like, 
like doesn't make sense for his play style but he's there bobby portis thaddeus young another free agent signing portis and mo bamba who we picked up at the draft i don't know man this team we're, we're pretty good we're pretty deep and we start off one-on-one -on -one. fair enough let's see where we are come playoff time okay and we did have a successful year if you see in the bottom corner 45 and 37 bull bull rookie of the year we made the playoffs any new uh why does this sort so weird what the heck hold on okay zion making all nba second team that's what i like to see 18 uh 9 5 this boy puts up numbers if you had more time more than three seasons and you developed his jump shot mm, that would be ferocious zion also making all defensive nice we finished as the sixth seed let's check out some of these uh player stats for the year so we know zion was a beast bobby portis <laughs> he was our second high scorer was he nah he was starting De'Aaron fox was cool mo bomba double double look at all these players in double figures wow let's go portland who, who does portland have they got damien lillard who's a 96 what and they have bull bull Nurkic okay that is that's a good team but man player progression is wild in this year okay we lose game one that is not good and we lose game two also not good time to make a change okay what kind of change can we make I think I think we got to start Zion at the four bring in Terry Rozier move Gary Harris uh there yeah that's like our highest overall starting unit give Bobby Portis a few less minutes give Terry Rozier a few more let's try that man like I don't want to no I need to get past the first round. I need to get past the second round let alone the first round <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, screw the Warriors, I guess. But this is my version of the Warriors team. Oh, come on. Really? 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 Well, that is that. That's just tragic, man. I swear. Like, how do you make a championship team? Maybe I need to go more than three years. But that's what most of these rebuilding people do, isn't it? Three years? I don't know, man. But part of the fun of this experiment was to see how the players that I traded away did as well. So we'll check that out here. Celtics Lakers. What a throwback finals. And it is is the Celtics winning once again. Kyrie Irving, finals MVP. There you go. We finished with Zion at an 89 overall. I still don't know why, like, as a power forward, he would only be an 86. That's so weird because he has no jump shot, but it is what it is. Kevin Durant ended up joining the Lakers. They just went to the NBA Finals and somehow lost with two 99s. Lonzo Ingram Vukovic. <laughs> Holy mo. I guess I can't complain, man. Look at this team. If they don't win the Finals, wow, that is so stacked. What are KD's numbers like? Uh, 22 points a game with the uh, Lakers in the playoffs. Yep, took a hit, but he's playing with LeBron. The Phoenix Suns, Steph Curry, did they make the play? They did make the playoffs, obviously didn't get to the finals. He's pretty much putting up the same amount of numbers, a little bit more assists, but yeah, he's killing it too. Poor Draymond Green went to the Magic. I don't think they, well, they did make the playoffs. He put up like no numbers. Um, Yeah, Draymond Green exposed not being a part of the Warriors. Klay Thompson ended up going to Miami, being his own man there. They did not make the playoffs. I don't think guys saw them. I don't know. They might've made the playoffs before. 20 three and a half points per game yeah that's pretty much what clay could do if he was the number one option i think at least he's super talented and finally demarcus cousins to the hawks he re-signed there even when he became a free agent led them to the playoffs had some really big years yeah that's what it could it could be unpredictable the nba if the warriors weren't in their current state with all these superstars although kevin Durant did go to the lakers so maybe not that realistic man but let me know if you thought this experiment was fun i did enjoy doing it i can't get past that pesky first or second round in my gm my league whatever this is called but we'll get there eventually with these rebuilding videos make sure you slap a thumbs up on this one so i know you want more comment anything down below anything to help me in these videos as well and let me know if i messed up any more names like chris and kevin this time but that is all i got for this one guys i'm jay canada you all stay golden